scientists at Commonwealth Fusion Systems and MIT are developing safe nuclear energy using fusion instead of fission. The fission process is you take very heavy atoms like uranium or plutonium and you split them apart and you do that in a chain reaction. And the way that you create a power plant out of that is you moderate that chain reaction so it doesn't run away. You don't want the chain reaction to run away because then you get either a meltdown or a bomb. Nuclear fusion, in theory, is much safer. Fusion is a form of energy that not, it's, it's not a very commonly known about energy, which is interesting because it's actually what powers the sun and the stars. Fission takes the heaviest elements on the periodic table, whereas fusion takes the lightest elements on the periodic table and actually joins them together. And in that joining together of those elements, you actually release energy. The team at Commonwealth is building a fusion device that will generate more energy than it consumes. It's called Spark. To do so, they need to create the fourth state of matter, which is called plasma. If you heat up the solid, it'll melt and you get a liquid. If you heat that liquid up more, that will then vaporize and you'll get a gas. And if you heat that gas up more, you'll get a plasma. For fusion, you're actually existing in a plasma state, so the electrons aren't even connected to the nucleus of the atom. And the challenge is that all of the nuclei are positively charged because they don't have electrons anymore. And, you know, likes repel each other. And so pushing them close enough together for the, the strong force to take over, um, which is the thing that ultimately causes fusion, um, is really, really hard. Historically, it requires far more energy to force these particles together than the reaction it produces generates. So particles moving around, the faster they move around, uh, the higher temperature you have. And for fusion, you need temperatures of generally in the millions of degrees. Efficiently creating and containing plasma requires thinking way outside the box and building a virtual box. The plasma is a very delicate thing, it turns out, which is very counterintuitive because you think something that's millions of degrees would be very dangerous, but that's actually very far from the truth. This thing that's millions of degrees will actually kill itself if it touches a solid, a liquid, or a gas. 